Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over my Bubble Era deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And I just hit King of Games in May. Here's my deck list entered up on the Duel Links meta website. And here's the deck list I was inspired by, by Guillamato. Just a few cuts to note. Um, I did swap out Blue Eyes for Summon Skull, just because this guy was bricking a lot. Tribute to the Doom, I swapped out for Monster Reincarnation, because that gave me a lot more flexibility. And the only other change was two Talismanic Seal Rays instead of three. The third one was just bricking for me. And then I played Negate Attack over Widespread Ruin. And then the only addition was one guard. So let's go ahead and peep the deck. So we're using Mimi for this, obviously. And the skill we're using is Disco Fever. This skill can be used if you have at least 15 light attribute aqua type monsters, and the only level 7 or higher effect monsters in your deck are aqua type. Can be activated during the turn you have normal summoned a light attribute aqua type normal monster. Any number of light attribute aqua type monsters on your field whose levels equal 10 gain 700 attack until the end of the turn. So let's check out the cards. So the first one we got, Diane Quito, the Boogie Master. This is our main level 8 beat stick. 2,500 attack and 1,000 defense. And her effect is send one card from your hand to the graveyard, gain 1,000 life points. Seahorse Carrier, which of course lets us grab us some normal type monsters from the grave. Fashion of Faith, you have normal summon this card this turn and you have a face up level 7 or higher aqua type monster on your field, draw one card. Then all face up level 7 or higher aqua type monsters on your field gain 400 attack until the end of this turn. One of the best cards in the deck, it works really good with Diane Quito to boost her attack. So if you get you know a couple of these on with Diane Quito, that's an easy draw too and then you can really build a board or just gain some life points. Seahorse Server, one of those. You have a face-up light attribute aqua type normal monster on your field. Gain 500 life points. One Summon Skull, our level 6 beat stick. And then we have our aqua lineup here with Kanan, Kana, Lamoon, and Bubbly Elf. Two Hydration for back row removal. One Monster Reincarnation. One Triple Threat Thunder to reduce an opponent's monster to zero attack. Two Talismanic Seal Rays. One negate attack and one the guard. This season, I think I'm going to make some changes. I'm still testing a little bit. The guard has not done much for me. I did have a couple of clutch uses with it last season, but more often than not, I just didn't see it. But I'm thinking Music Princess Recital just because that card can. That card's live a little more than the guard, but we'll see. If I hit King of Games again, I'll make a new video. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the replays. So I didn't save <laughs> my five games for the rank up, but I did manage to get five dubs in King of Games. So we're going to go ahead and just go over those ones because I did actually save those. First one, we're facing off against Gavin Sogetsu. We're going to be going first. Alright. Go ahead and set four. We're going to leave these two in hand. Oh, sorry, set three. They're playing Noodle Art Reboot. So they're going to go ahead and summon two, activate the effect. We're going to pop the negate attack there. Activate Hydration to pop that back row. Get Diane Quito on field and Seahorse Carrier. Use its effect. Activate Fashion of Faith. Draw one. Get Summon Skull. Activate Disco Fever. And we're going to go ahead and just clear their field and attack in for 2,900 there. They're going to activate their own. They're running another Aqua Engine themselves. Go Summon him. Activate the skill. Get two big guys on field. Activate Roastery. We're going to lose two, but we still have Fashion of Faith. Activate Monster Reincarnation to grab our Diane Quito back. Summon her out on the field. Activate Talismanic Seal Array. We're going to shuffle some much-needed cards back into the deck here. Reduce one. Boost Kanan. Attack in and attack in again. 
And they're down to 900 life points. They're going to go ahead and just set five. We're going to activate Fashion of Faith for the draw one. Activate Hydration, pop one back row. Set two, activate Diane Quito. Get widespread ruin there. Not in a terrible position. We still have 6,000 life points. They're going to go ahead and just wall off again. Activate Seahorse, get the life point boost. That was a misplay there on that triple threat thunder. Not a big deal, to be honest. We're going to clear their field regardless. We're going to do another six set. Very exciting game here. We're going to activate Diane Quito's effect and swing in with two. We got 7,500 life points here. Now, I want to say this is one game where, yeah, so if you, as you can see, they have to win this turn. And we do have a guard set. And this is one situation where this card is going to save our butts. So let's go ahead and just see what happens here. So they got two big guys on field. They're going to activate Fiery Blaze, Tribute to the Doom, <laughs> and Seal Array. So we're in an interesting, interesting position here. Attack in, 3200, and boom, the guard. Right there, that prevents the KO for this turn. They only have four left, so we can just pass turn, and that's it. So yeah, one situation where the guard really came in clutch there. Next one is against Psychics, I believe. This is one game where they kind of just burn their own life points into oblivion. We are going first. Go. Get ready for the ride. Not a great starting hand. We're just going to go ahead and set everything except for the seahorse because we want that for next turn follow-up. They're going to summon their ace. Add to hand, they're going to build their board a little bit here. Attack in. We're just going to do a full board set and pass turn. And we're going to turn one to the top of the deck, not a big deal. They're going to activate two future diviners, draw two. We still have one monster on board here. We're going to activate hydration. Activate the skill to boost Kanan. Attack in. Pass turn. They're going to activate dream drummer. Not a huge deal for us. We're going to have special summon there. Attack in three times. Get our board cleared. Now, of course, we can activate two seahorse carriers. So that's just what we're going to do here. Get some monsters back. Summon our dying Quito in attack position. Get two beaters on board. Activate Talismanic Seal Ray. We're going to get some seahorses back in the deck there that we need for later. Set two more, pitch one to gain a thousand life points, boost the attack. We're gonna get negate attacked. So their board's just kind of built already and they're really low on life points. But they're gonna go ahead and pay the life points and swing in regardless. We're gonna activate under the Seahorse Carrier. Monster Reincarnation to get our Diane Quito back. And as you can see, sometimes you just really don't draw Diane Quito, so that's why you really need the monster reincarnation just so you you know you can grab her from the graveyard way better than tribute to the doom in this deck and plus we can pop her effect too to get the draw one attack boost all we got to do is swing in and there we go nice and easy game against psychics psychic players really <laughs> watch your life point count all right Game number three. I think this will be probably will be the last one we go over here. Hope we get a good one. I think we're facing off against dragons here. We're going first. Here I go. Get ready for the rush. Draw one, decent opening hand. We're gonna go ahead and summon three. Keep these two in our hand. They're playing dinos here. They're just going to go ahead and summon some guys. We're going to lose one and 1,100 life points. Activate Seahorse Carrier. Get back Kanan. Summon our Diane Keto. Fashion of Faith. Go ahead and pop her effect to draw one. Activate Hydration. Then we're going to set one. Activate Diane Keto's effect. Tack in, and we're doing okay. It's going to activate Hammer Crush Duel, so we are going to lose our guard there. They're going to go ahead and pop that immediately. We're going to draw one, set one, and there's the scoop. 
Well, that one wasn't too exciting, so let's go ahead and see if we got one more good one. The fifth Hokage. Let's see if this one's any good. I know there was one I was playing against Harpies, and they just set for like 10 turns straight. The seven win streak. I think I hit eight before I got clapped. Decent opening hand. We're just going to go ahead and set everything and summon one Kanan and attack. We're going to summon two. Activate Piercing Dragon, Bunker Strike. We're summon another one. Boost two attack. They're going to attack in. They're going to clear two. Next turn, pass back to us. We're going to go ahead and activate... Oh, sorry. We're going to summon two. Activate Hydration here. Activate Fashion of Faith's effect. Pitch one. Summon one. Boost attack, and we got a decent board built here with a negate attack set. I think we're going to lose the negate attack next turn. <laughs> yep, of course. Draconic Slayer. Ridiculous back row removal card. They're going to go ahead and pop that. Lose that. Lose two monsters. We still got Kanan. We're going to set three. Just kind of... Just got a kind of turtle here. Not much we can do. He's going to activate that. Boost his attack. I think we're just going to get wiped across the board here. Attack in. We lose 2,800. Luckily, we still have a Seahorse Carrier and a Monster Reincarnation. Activate that. Get Dying Keto back in hand. Summon two out. Summon Dying Keto and activate two Fashion of Faith. This is why this card's so awesome. Draw two. Pitch one. Gain 1,000. Boost two attack there. We're going to get the gate attacked. We're going to go ahead and attack that. Boost attack there. Clear the board. Take 1,500 to the face. <laughs> we got 500 life points left. Seahorse Carrier. Talismanic Steel Array. We're going to go ahead and shuffle four back for that. Get the Slayer. Get our Summon Skull. Summon two here. Activate Disco Fever. And there's the scoop. All right, so that's it. So uh, yeah, it was it was a little tough getting this deck to King of Games. I think this I think this was my most brutal effort yet. Um, like I said, well well over sixty games in Gold Five, which is pretty bad. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'm testing it right now. We're gonna see if we can improve upon it. And if we do better next season, if it's a little smoother, I'm going to make another video to update it. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.